Just listen to this. Can you take me to the party? Bye-bye. Thank you. Whoa! Look and listen. Oh, no! Oh, no! Now I will have to go for help. Something must be wrong. Thank you, Percy. Ha, ha, he chuckled. Oh, my, she said. Look at me go! It's the new fuel, he cried. How wonderful. Sorry. Look, what will happen to the order now? Watch what you're doing. You are a really useful engine, said Harvey. And a jolly good friend. They biffed and bashed the buffers. You're late again, Percy, said the dock manager. I will have to speak to Sir Topham Hatt. I'm going to be late. I must be on time. I'll take as long as I like. Be careful, said his driver. Tar is sticky stuff. What will Sir Topham Hatt say? I'm sure to be scrapped now. Uh, he just left very quickly, sir. All week. Oh, Thomas. They look like snow clouds to me. We can't go on. Hello? Bother. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. I can't wait. He'll love it. Huh? If they won't tell me, I don't want to know. Please find him, Harold. And there's the Black Lock monster. Nobody knows. Hold back. Hold back, they screeched. <laughs> Off we go. Off we go. Mustn't be late. Mustn't be late. Emily, the late engine. Emily, the late engine, they sang. Oh, no. It sounds miserable to me. And now the monster's coming. I never want to see Black Lock again. Sir Topham Hatt chose me because I'm as red as a rocket and twice as grand. Oh. I will have to go and call for help. Hello, busted boiler. You said I wasn't useful. Go faster, Thomas. Why would the signal be red? Gordon must be taking the children back. We're here. A sparkling dragon. The firework display is back on. Good work, Thomas. You're doing it all wrong. Percy was fed up. Watch me. I puff nice and smoothly. I'm the fastest and the best. Watch how smoothly I can go. Gordon slid right through the station. Yuck. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. What's a railway in spectacles? Railway inspector. Prize. Puh. He's bound to give it to an express engine. Yuck! There's no need for you to get clean. I'm going to be the grandest engine there. All done. Oh no! These engines are filthy. I've never seen so much coal dust. <laughs> you two are just what engines should look like. You have beaten Gordon's record. Of course. I'm faster and finer than all the engines on Sodor put together. But that just means more hot air. I've won already. Hurry, old boy, laughed Spencer. Can't have you finishing too far behind me. Hooray for Edward! Fastest and best, fastest and best, he boasted. Nothing to worry about. Edward is a waste of steam. Well done, Edward. You are a credit to the railway. Time to go. Nearly there. Nearly there, he gasped. These are old tracks and you are are a very heavy engine. You must go slowly. Hooray! I've won! You steamies are old and clapped out. When Sir Topham Hat realizes this, you'll all be scrapped. Uh-huh. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Why are you fooling around, Gordon? That will never do. Sounds like another steamy ready for the scrapyard. I could take them for you. We can all have fun now. No, I will. I'm the fastest. I'll do the most journeys. These fresh eggs are needed across the island. My eggs must be delivered safely, so I am coming to make sure you go slowly and carefully. Fastest than best. This is my first. Ha! Huh, I'm on my third. I'm as red as a rocket and twice as fast. I'm on my second journey. Slow down, Thomas, he called. You will break my eggs. Stop, Thomas. You have broken my eggs. Who will take the express, sir? The Express is the longest passenger train on the island. I always cross the island twice by tea time. You'll never do that. Big wheels don't make a big engine. Everyone knows I'm the best. Bust my buffers. You must wait your turn. What's happening to me? I am learning patience. But if only I could learn it faster. Phew. Only take five freight cars at a time. 
and go slow and steady. Yo! On! 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 Oops, said Thomas. Sorry! Hold back! Getting clean is lovely, puffed Arthur. Especially when you smell of fish. I must fix the roof right away. Hurry up! You must work harder! About time! Oh no! Hurry up! Not if you ask like that! Hello! Please? Thank you, cried Emily. The calves will be nice and warm now. Look out for ghosts! It is Halloween! Very spooky. They moaned and groaned. Help! Must be brave. Must be brave. Suddenly, a great whoosh of sparks lit up the shed. Bust my buffers! The ghost! It's got me! The ghost is after me! Help! The ghost has got me! It's Thomas! Stop! That's no ghost! That's Emily! What? And we heard moaning and groaning! It was us, sir. Yes, sir. Bother. Slow coach? <laughs> You're not even a proper engine. But I'll never be able to do Edward's job. He's a proper steam engine. I hope no one needs pushing up Gordon's Hill. I'll never be able to shunt all those. You can do it, Toby. Maybe I can do it. Bother. You need to push Gordon to the top of the hill. Yes, sir. But Gordon looks much too heavy for me to push. I'll do my best. Is that the best you can do? You can do it, Toby. I did it. Thank you, sir. Hello, James. Goodbye, James. I was here first. Why do I have to wait? The mail train is more important than slow goods. You can rely on me, sir. An important job. <laughs> it's only a load of coal, after all. Come on. I have an important job to do. Can you take these slate cars to the quarry? Sorry, Edward, but I can't. Please push me to the water tank, pleaded James. I'm sorry, Edward puffed sadly. Why didn't you fill up with water this morning, matey? I've heard you were too busy to help Edward, too. Mine is the most important job on the island. No job is more important than helping another engine. Thank you, sir. Pah! A really useful engine doesn't need help. You're bound to need some help. Come on! He should have said chickens. No, thank you. Tank engines don't need help. <laughs> I'm always helping Gordon up the hill. If we get everything in time, then we can still take some children. Out of the way, snorted James. Passenger train coming through. Cocoa powder flew everywhere. Delivering ice cream is a fun job after all. For me. A carpet? That's not magic. That's just the wind. Wait for me. Please, wait. Hey. Murdoch has got my magic carpet! There's no such thing as a magic carpet. It can fly! Help! cried Percy. My magic carpet! Hey, presto! Hocus pocus! Abracadabra! Please? It is magic. We'll get to see airplanes! And of all the airplanes! Stinky Stevie's in the way again. Why do we have to work near them? We've got a really important job to do. More important than any Stevie's job. <laughs> I hear you've been making trouble for Ari and Bert. But you won't make trouble for me. I've got an important job to do. No. Building the new ones was our important job. But we were delayed, so we couldn't finish it. And bananas are no good for building sheds. Now where will we sleep? I'll never stay shiny in here. Oh, look, a stinky steamy. I don't like it here. If I break down, they might scrap me by mistake. The indignity. Bother. I hope we're safe here. Will Tidmouth Sheds be fixed too? I'm not talking to you. You played a trick on me. You gave me bananas. Stinky steamy's made us late. Th th that claw must be very strong. A diesel engine wouldn't need help. Not like a steam engine. Well done, Thomas! I'll do it. I'm the strongest. Much stronger than this steamy. No! Now I'll show Thomas who's best. Stripey boiler. Uh, and no airplanes? The indignity. I wish I was a real engine again. Bust my boiler! We always finish our jobs when we work together.
We all need to talk to each other. I am sure he'll be here soon. Trust the steamy to be late. This whole mess is the steamy's fault. The diesel engine started it. Maybe we should teach the steamies a lesson. We don't want to work with stinky steamies. Why are you all here? And the track is blocked. Trust the steamy to mess things up. Now I'll never see an airplane. <sighs> What do you want? Why would I help a steamy? Hmm, maybe I will help later. Hmm, all right, Snow Diesel 10. I will help. Where's that scary steamy? Puffed away after he messed things up. It's Thomas, and he's with Diesel 10. Not so scary after all. I never thought I'd see the day. Thomas and Diesel 10 working together? Well, grind my gears. The airport looks wonderful, guys. And working with steamies wasn't bad either. They look beautiful. Better than ever before. I was just starting to like my tent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to see the spirit of Sodor. Green. Special. Mm, too tall. Too round. Too busy. Why, I do believe there is nothing special to paint on this island at all. What is it? Me? Father! Slow down, Thomas! There's something ahead on your tracks! Help! Percy! Help! Thomas is in trouble! All of your friends have helped rescue you. Slow, coach. This milk is almost butter! If you shake milk for long enough, it turns to butter, he told Thomas. You must go back to the dairy and get more milk. And remember to go slowly this time. I need butter, not milk! Butter! Hello! Hello! Where? Mighty Mac! This way! We're here! Then why are the vacationers over there? Sorry. No! Go the other way! This isn't the campground! This is your fault! Yours! Stop! When the vacationers work together, they lifted the heavy carriage onto the track! Off we go! Hello! Not telling! Of course! Ooh! Those freight cars are empty! There are lots of engines waiting at the coaling plant! And I'll help! Out of the way. Click, clunk, click, clunk. Rattlebox is awake at last. He... I hope your click clunk gets better soon. <laughs> See you later, Rattler. <gasps> Surprise. Off you go now, Percy. Number one is my platform. But why? It was too late. Oh. Hello, Gordon. Gordon's a mess. Gordon's a mess. He's the largest and jelliest. It's hard work pulling the express. Is it about being fastest and the best? Not at all. Two toots. Where are you taking us now? No, no, no. You are all to go to Napford Station. Thomas and the other edges have a special surprise. This is the best birthday picnic ever. The bridge ahead is unsafe. Thomas, you are to collect a piece of ironwork so the bridge can be repaired. Nearly there. Nearly there. Watch where you're going, clumsy wheels. It's not our fault if you're a silly steamy. <laughs> Have you seen the new engine yet? A steamy? Friendly with diesels? That new steamy devil is best friends with the diesels. He doesn't want to be with steamies at all. James told me, and Thomas told him. Edward told me. James told Edward. And they heard all about it from Thomas. Hello? I'm not talking to you. Hello? Just like Ari and Bert told you to. Have you heard about Neville, the new engine? Henry saw Ari and Bert be horrible to him at the yards. Thomas knew it was all his fault. Thank you. That was Rusty. He thinks his horn is special, but we don't. How will anyone know where we are? One, two, three. On the brass band? We heard your horn, so we knew where to find you. Because you have the most special sounding horn of all. Let the concert begin. We can be really careful, but I can be careful. Let me try again. Please. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry I biffed the freight cars, but I'm sure we could take the dinosaur together. No, I'll show Mr. Percival I could do it on my own. Must take the dinosaur. Must take the dinosaur. Yes, sir, I'm sure. Yes, sir. Oh, no. I'll never get the dinosaur to the transfer yards now. I wish Scar Louie was here to help me, he sighed. Out of my way. Scar Louie, I need your help. The dinosaur is too heavy for me. 
I can't pull it on my own. I was silly to think I could pull this on my own. It needs two engines. And I need you. From now on, I'll always want us to work together. We're all having a repaint. I've not heard about that. Why hasn't Sir Topham Hat told me? You must have been left out. I'll do it, sir. Hurry up, hurry up. But I, I don't want to be put in a museum. Farmer McCall's truck has a flat tire. He'll be here as soon as he can. What's wrong, Thomas? You don't look at all happy. Arrive! You wouldn't have a problem if you were an express engine. You'd go really fast and get the job done in double quick time. Like me. I'll be in time to see the carnival. The generator at the carnival has broken down. Cranky has just unloaded a new generator. You must take it to the amusement park. Long, long ago. How would you know it was Proteus's lamp? I don't believe there's a magic lamp. I have work to do. I'm a really useful engine, not a really silly one, too. I knew that all along. I wish I could find the incline. And I wish I could be safe at home in the sheds with the other engines. And I wish... Hello! I'm lost. No problem, old buddy. I'll show you the way. Why are you so excited to see the statue? You think it's going to be of you? Percy. Really, Thomas? That's safe. It might not be your statue. Please, stop talking about the statue. No one wants to hear about it anymore. No one wants to talk to you anymore. And neither do I. That's not Thomas. It's of all of us. It's not of me at all. Emily has broken down. You must get all your jobs done as quickly as possible. Then you are to collect the children after school and take them to the toy shop. That crate slipped off my hook, snapped Cranky Crankily. I'll go as soon as the line's clear. You won't be able to pull all the cars of toys as well as Addie and Clarabel. Doing our best. Doing our best. What's the matter, Thomas? What can I do? Yes, sir. Oops, sorry, matey. It's not tall when you lay it down, matey. I wish I hadn't broken the flagpole. They could make a new flagpole out of that tall tree. Oh, no. They must be going to cut down the tall pine tree. Bother. None of the flagpoles is as tall as the pine tree. I can't find another flagpole. I've looked everywhere. Hello, Henry. Ooh, look at the castle. Percy, come along. No, you don't. <laughs> I am the queen today. Percy, you're not supposed to be on this track. These troublesome trucks are too troublesome. I can't shunt them. Thank you, Thomas. Help. Help! I don't know how to get to the schoolhouse. Help! Then another engine will have to take them. Help, Cole Dennis! Help! Help! I tricked you. I'm a really lazy engine. Thank you, Thomas! They're even nicer than James's. <laughs> Father! Ha! <laughs> See? I have got the cleanest freight cars. You'll be here for hours getting yours clean. We need to unload quickly, but don't worry. We'll try and keep your new freight cars clean. Hold back. Hold back. <laughs> Bother. <laughs> I wanted an adventure. Oh, no. How am I going to get out? No one knows where I am. I'll have to find my own way out. I'm going to be stuck here forever. It's the sound of wheels going around. Must think clearly. Must think clearly. I did it! Ah, uh, and next time I have an adventure, I will know to think clearly all the time. You're looking very cheerful, Thomas. Haven't you heard about the curse of the cliffs? <clears throat> Whenever the first engine of the holiday season goes around the headland, a terrible fog comes down over the cliffs. The engine loses its way and nobody knows where it goes. Thick fog rolling in on the headland. Puff carefully, Thomas. I was enjoying myself until I met Diesel. He told me a monster lives in the tunnel. Now I'm too scared to go through. You're a very brave engine. Now I can finish my job. You are such a scaredy engine. I'm not scared of anything. Oh, no. I want to be the bravest. I want to show everyone that I'm the bravest engine of all. How can I prove I'm the bravest? If I went up the hill on the witch, then everyone will see how brave I am. Look where Scar Louie is. Look at me! Look at me! He puffed. I'm 
Stop the bravest engine in all the world! Weep! The village won't be cozy and warm, and it's all by full. There's only one thing to do. I will have to collect the coal myself. Are you going to take the freight cars down the incline without the winch? That would be really brave. No, I'm going to take the coal to the village. This is much better than showing everyone how brave I am. Yes, sir. I can't seem to get up steam properly, but I'll manage. Don't tell anyone, Thomas. I'm sorry, Thomas. I'm not a really useful engine anymore. So Top of Hat will have to send me for scrap. Thank you, Thomas. And why are you pulling it? Where is Edward? Uh, 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 what? what nonsense, Thomas? What's all this about the wrong sort of coal? The wrong sort of coal? It's all my fault, sir. I asked Thomas not to tell you I couldn't work. I was afraid of going for scrap. I'm very sorry. I should have talked to you this morning. What for? What for? They snapped. The Golden Eagle has been seen on Gordon's Hill. The Golden Eagle has been seen back down the line, he called. Hurry, Thomas! An old blue slow coach like you is sure to slow me down. Hurry up! Slow down! Whoa! Yippee! Trust a blue engine to be late. Care. Whee! And faster. Oh my! Whoa! Bust my buffers! Oh dear! If I promise to go slowly and take care... Slow down! Apply your brakes, James! Boom! Whoa! Trust the silly old steamy to be scared on Halloween. We'll see. It's the haunted forest. Whoa! Thomas! Sounds like the ghost engine looking for a steamy to scare. Look out! cried Diesel. The ghost engine is after your funnel. Scared engine, scared engine. Whoa! It's a ghost engine! It's come to get me! Stop! Oh! It's the ghost engine, sir! And it's come to get me! Hello, Thomas! Uh-oh. This is bad. Look out, small fry! Watch out! Sorry! Hurry up, half pint! Not half pint, it's small fry! Heh! <laughs> small fry is hearing things! Heh! <laughs> said the cat. Meow, meow, said the kittens. Big heart. Today I get to demolish, knock buildings down. Safety first. Oh boy, I can't wait to knock this building down. Stand back, if you please. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We need a bigger wrecking ball. Can I help? This is the strongest wall I've ever seen. Sorry. Oh boy. Look out! Oops. Hooray! Ouch. Oh. Oh. Mm. Bust my buffers. I'm loaded. I did it. I did it. Smash the smithereens. Do you want me to break anything else? Oh, no. Mm. Roasting radiators. It's hot. Out of the way, young'uns. Someone important coming through. What makes you so important? Concrete. But I'm the most important. Is Patrick the most important? Nonsense. Patrick said he was the most important. Is that true? Oh, my, no. Mm -mm. And that's what I do. Our operators, they're in charge of safety. They're definitely the most important. I'm the most important. I am, boasted Monty. I can hold more in less time than anyone else. More, 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 and hurry. If you say so. Slow down! I'm the most important. I am, I am, I am. Look out! Oh! Flatten my fenders. Not my fault. My beautiful concrete. Not even Patrick. I might have said something. Too hard. Look out! Can't you send someone else? Oh dear. Be careful. Oh. 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 Mind my paint. Just once. I'd like to be carried. Thank you. I pull freight cars. Thank you, everyone. What an excellent day. He's always in a hurry. Don't worry. I'll make sure you don't back into anything. Oh boy. Not me. Blistering buckets. Ned, you've knocked over the slates. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. It's not there. 
It's not fair. Where's Ned going? He knocked over some roofing slate. Thomas is taking him back to the yard. What's wrong? Wait! Jack shouted. Wait! Miss Jenny! Ned didn't break the slate. I did. I'm sorry you got blamed for my accident. I should have owned up earlier. That's all right, said Ned. But I'm glad it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Safety first. Yes, Miss Jenny. <laughs> Mud! Glorious mud! Bust my buffers! No. Max and Monty were still up to no good. Ready? Go! Watch out! Help! I'll get him! I'm coming, Alfie! Careful, Byron! Hold on! And strain! Well done! We're sorry, Miss Jenny, said Monty and Max. It was struck by lightning. You'll know. Safety first! Look out! You'll hit the tree! Who put that there? The tree's falling down! Not my fault! We must save it! Help, Jack! I'm coming! Called Jack. Move aside, little fella. Kelly! We need more help! Get the props! Look! You can see it from here! Hurry up! Help! I can't even bounce my bucket! The fuel truck's broken down. Stop! The road is blocked! Yuck! Isabella! Isabella! I knew she'd do it! <laughs> Me too! Rubbish! It's just a story. The deepest, darkest part of the forest. That was the best story yet. Me too. Stuff and nonsense, rattled Monty. It's the one-eyed truck. Scaredy, scaredy. Yes, sir. I hope. And I? I don't know. It's the one-eyed truck. It's the one-eyed truck. Well, what's behind us then? It's Thomas. Thomas? Great. Splendid. Obviously. Hurry up. Hmm? <laughs> Hurry up there! But I found something. Look! Rubbish, snipped Max. It might be important. Amazing! This is a dinosaur bone. A dinosaur bone? Yes, sir. Ooh. It makes me proud to be an excavator. It's Oliver! With his dinosaur! We'll have to move the trees today, Clatter Jack. You could rely on us. Everyone's got a job but me. It's not fair. I want to help, too. Oh, my God! Goodness! Molehills! Yay! Molehills! Hundreds of them! It looks like a giant chocolate chip cookie! Only green! He's good. Very good. We'll do it again. Well done! I'm thinking to the Soda Auto Racetrack. And the winner is Buster! The fastest steamroller in the world! You think you're fast? If you were going any slower, you'd be going backward. Can I test it, Miss Jenny? I'm the fastest steamroller in the world. More like the slowest. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> I'm ready. You couldn't beat a snail. Not even a sleepy snail. You jumped the signal. Did not. Ow, you dented me. You're in the waist. Mmm. No. I came second, cried Max. Third snap, Monty. And I wasn't even speeding. I did come second, third. Thomas, the flower. He's found me again. Thomas. I have a problem. It happens when I go up hills. I start to rattle and rock, and then I have to stop. Could you help me up the hill? Of course I can. Yes, sir. Please, sir. Hello. It is. Jet planes don't have to stop for cows. Of course, coal. We can do it. Oh. Why? I'm only a steam tram. Duck it, you're going to be late. Slow down. Take care, tough scholarly. Whoosh. Hooray. Wobbly. My bell. Clang, clang, boing. Went the bell. It's my bell. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Thomas. What tree? Salty, cried Toby. Stop, please. What are you waiting for? Crank Cranky. They've all been helping me. I broke down. It doesn't matter. What can I do? Sorry about your afternoon off. Stop, Gordon. You've been given Henry special call by mistake. I'm sorry, Henry. I will try my very best. The workmen are waiting. <laughs> the workmen are waiting. Hooray for Gordon. Wheezed Henry. Why? I do. <laughs> Hello, Freddy, whistled Sir Handel. I haven't seen you for years. Fearless Freddy is back. I'm the winner, peeped Scalloway. No, I am, wished Reneus. Who are you? We're the fastest engines in the hills. If I get to the bottom without you bumping my buffers, 
All right, Fearless Freddy. Ready? Steady? Go! Oh, no. Those young engines will bump my buffers. No one will remember that now. This way's much quicker. I did it. Those young engines couldn't catch me. You're so fast, wished Reneus. Race you again, please? Of course, tooted Freddy. Fearless Freddy never says no to a race. <laughs> we'll race you down the other side this time, Puff Reneus. You're not scared, are you? Of course not. I'm Fearless Freddy. Off we go. The craggy track. Faster! Oh no! cried Skullowie. Reneus has come off the track, Skullowie cried. And I don't know where he is. We were trying to catch you, Fearless Freddy, but you were too fast. You tricked us, and now Reneus is lost and in trouble. I'm so happy you found me, peeped Reneus. So am I. <laughs> Please tell us about them. Good morning, Thomas, puffed Toby. Toby was very wet. Look what I'm taking to Farmer McColl's farm. It's a new house for his doves. That's exciting, peeped Percy. Toby must be very happy. Maybe he likes his old roof, chuffed Percy. I'm off to Arsdale End, wished Thomas, so that the workmen can start straight away. But I liked my old roof with holes. Little birds. Thank you, Thomas. I'm very happy. Big, strong Henry. Empty freight cars? Yes, I could. I suppose so. Who did Henry? Of iron and steel. Pa! How strong you are! And here comes big, strong Henry. Who did Henry? Help! cried Henry. Whoa! Yes, sir. Pa! Poor old Henry. <laughs> He's not big, strong Henry at all. Hello, Henry. All the cows are leaving your cars, Gordon. Henry. Oh, no. Still covered in bubbles. Sorry. If I don't take the sticky taffy to the party, the children won't be able to make taffy apples. Oh, no. A shortcut. It's time to go, he called. We haven't finished our job. I can't be late for Sir Topham Hat. I am, honked Rusty. When Sir Topham Hat and his family arrive, I'm sure they can't be far away. No, we haven't. Have you seen Sir Topham Hat? This is very strange. Why were the skiers at the ruined castle, and the fishermen at the coal mine, and the campers at the quarry? Bust my buffers! The signpost must be all pointing in the wrong direction. I made the workmen rush. This is all my fault. That's the way to Hill Farm. I'm sorry, sir. I've spoilt your day. You wanted to go to the lake, and now you're at Hill Farm. You can go home now. Not yet. I'm going to wish to be grander. I'm going to wish to be redder. Or never having to pull smelly fish. And remember to make a wish. I wish I could see. Thank you, Star. Quite right, Edward. What's a new funneled nuisance, Edward? Nonsense, Percy. My name's Rocky. I could help you with those heavy pipes. Newfangled nonsense. Bust my buffers. This is going to take me a very long time. No, no. We have a very important job to do. I can't lift Gordon. He's too heavy. Newfangled nonsense. I'll go and get Rocky. Rocky, we need your help. It's an emergency. I'm ready and waiting, Edward. Go get him, Edward! I can fix this. Thank you, Rocky, he huffed. Newfangled nonsense, but you're also really useful. Welcome to our island. I am to take them to a very important tea party at the Scottish Castle. <laughs> Because you are a small engine, and small engines get small jobs. I am a big engine, and big engines get big jobs. Nonsense. Now I'll have to chase after it. I found it. Oh, no. On, on. Scary little engine. Scary engine, scary engine. Clickety-clack. Don't come back. <laughs> Baby, I am a scary little engine. What should I do? I'm not a brave engine, so I don't look down and I puff as hard as I can. Thank you, Scarlowy. If I go in the water, it might put out my firebox, cried Duncan. 
I'm not a brave engine, so I roll very slowly and I try not to make any waves. Thank you! The logs will hit Reneus! Poof! What's the matter? I jumped at a noise at the wharf and the troublesome trucks laughed at me. Now, I have a big dent. I'm a scary little engine, and scaredy engines will never be useful engines. You are the bravest little engine I know. I am the bravest little engine I know. Hello, everybody. I'm Scarlowe. Hello, Scarlowe. Clickety clack. Look who's back. The scaredy little engine's on our track. I am not a scaredy little engine, and if you biff me, I'll biff you back. So there. Ooh. Oh no! Everywhere! A balloon! You look very pleased with yourself, because... Not if you won't listen! Now I'm in trouble. They're in a siding, sir. Yes, sir. Because Gordon's not the only one who set a record. I've set one, too. Whoa! Cinders and ashes! It's not fair. And he puffed off smiling. Quick, sir! You must change the points! The Sodor team colors are ruined, cried James. Bertie was taking children to the football game. Please, Thomas, can you take the children to the football game for me? He looks splendid. Or me. Oh. It's me! I'll go and get help. Of course I will, she puffed. Alice's mother has telephoned for help, Rosie told Thomas. Edward is on his way to pull you out. You're lucky I came at all. Oh. Ha. How about a wee contest? All oh, right, Puff James. Is this all you brought? Lots more coal than that. <laughs> and you still haven't brought enough coal. Oh, we'll see, Puff Duncan. Yes, sir, wished Reneus. Hello, I'm tired. Coal cars for him. It will be a nice surprise. Why are you so excited? Can't tell you. Hurry up and uncouple these slate cars, wished Reneus. I am, but I can't tell you why. Then there was trouble. Flatten my funnel. Where have they gone? My coal cars have disappeared. If I don't find them, I will have to go to the depot and tell the narrow gauge controller. But I've only made things worse. I must tell the other engines about my surprise. And it's all my fault. I found these cars at the bottom of the hill. Do you know who left them there? Thank you, Peter Sam. Peter Sam was puzzled. They were, sir. The Admiral is always looking for the lost pirate treasure of Sodor. Treasure? Yes. No one has ever found it. There's no such thing as treasure, she laughed. Where are you going, Thomas? How silly. Fancy believing in a silly old story. I am very proud to declare the new Maritime Museum Open. And you have found the skull and crossbones. Someone get me a shovel. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Wonderful idea. There's no one to take me to the repairer's yard. I don't like going to the repairer's, he puffed. It's very nice, but we have a castle in the mountains. It's very nice, but we have green valleys in the mountains. Help! Oh. It's wonderful, Gascoloey. I've never seen anything like that before. Thank you, we Scarloey. This is the best big day out ever. I like to think so, said the lady. Thank you, Thomas. Hello, Emily. My name's Whiff, because I'm a bit smelly. You're going to help me collect garbage. Hello. My name's Whiff. Wait for me! Where's this new engine? No, I didn't! Hello! Oh. Wait for me! I meant to be taking the Duke and Duchess of Boxford to an important lunch, but my way is blocked by all these smelly garbage wagons. Someone will have to move them. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Me? snorted Gordon. Who? Oh, certainly not. Oh. No, thank you. I'm still waiting. Hello, Emily. I was wondering where you'd got to. That's all right. I'm just glad you found me. Let's go to work. Freeze my firebox. That dirty little engine can't move all these garbage wagons. Oh, thank you, Emily. Whiff is a very, very useful engine. Coming through. You're just a little tank engine. Anyone can shun freight cars, Wish Spencer, but you have to be very special to pull the Duke and Duchess of Boxford. Whoa! You have to shun stone at the quarry. They're waiting for you now. My. Oh, no. And I'm not. Thomas, 
There's nothing better than an engine you can rely on. You saved the day, Thomas. I can't help. It's much more important for me to look really smart when I arrive with my important passenger. Sorry, Percy. Cling, clang, cling, clang. Sorry, Thomas. Bust my buffers. Sorry. Where are Thomas and Percy and Emily? No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Because I'm going to help you. Because he really doesn't like to be shunted. His name is Hector, but we call him Hector the Horrid. He does look troublesome. <laughs> Big. Bad, strong, and solid. That truck's name is Hector the Horrid. Keep away! Then add him to the back of James's train. Wow, do we have to shunt and fill that big truck, Thomas? Yes. Keep away! Keep away! Because I'm scared. I'm new, and I'm scared because I haven't been filled with cold before. I don't know what it feels like. That's why I didn't want to be shunted. I'd like to be filled with cold too. It felt wonderful. Just in time. Well done, Thomas. Hurry up, Gordon. All aboard! Wait! Bertie the bus is bringing more passengers. Oh no, I'm a carpenter. Oh no. Ah, you can't get past. What a great plan. Thank you, Gordon. Hello. <laughs> what a foolish little engine. Hooray. Hooray. Cinders and ashes. How many spaceships did you find? Oh, no. Where are my lucky trucks? Must find Edward. Must find Edward. Oh, no. If I had my lucky trucks, this would never have happened. You're supposed to be at the airport. I must find him. Don't worry. I'll have the line cleared in no time. I'll never see my lucky trucks again. I found you. Oh, no. I've broken my lucky trucks. I'm not going anywhere without my lucky trucks. But they're broken. And if you don't collect the presents soon, the children won't have anything to open in the morning, even without my lucky trucks. Only one more delivery. I've delivered all the presents. It's going to be a wonderful party. See you at the firework party, Thomas. See you, Thomas. I'm off to collect the Chinese dragon. Beep. Can't catch me. Whoa, laughed Sir Handel. Look at me. I'm a ghost. Beep. Oh, my. Where are your freight cars? Loaded up and ready to go. Thomas, that was a good joke. I call it the grande finale, and I need some very special things for it. How jolly. That's nice. What are you doing here? Why have you come to Napford? Well, you have brought all the wrong things. I need my red carpet, my blue box, and my big yellow sheet. Without them, I can't do my grand finale. Abra Cadabra. Shazam! Ooh, my best magic trick! You must wait for the engineer to lower the mast. Be careful with that tall boat! It's a very blustery day! Crunch! Oh no! Hooray! Whee! The wind is filling the boat's sails! Slow down, Thomas! Phew. Oh yes, my heart is! Aye, aye, sir! And here he is! I'm Billy. Let's go. Why? Yes, sir. I know that. Thomas, stop telling me what to do. You are a very bossy engine. Don't tell me what to do, Thomas. You are a very bossy engine. Silly Billy. Stop telling me what to do, Thomas. You are a very bossy engine. He's forgotten our oil. Stop telling me what to do, Thomas. You are a very, very bossy engine. Watch out, silly Billy. Thomas, stop telling me what to do. You are a very bossy engine. Thomas, you're not a bossy boiler. You're a really useful engine. And I really enjoyed working with you. Yes. I don't want Sir Topham Hat to think I can't deliver the mail. I'll have to work out how to do it by myself. You have lots of parcels to deliver today. Some for Farmer McColl, some for the children's party at Maithwaite, and some more for the school. Maybe I should go to Farmer McColl's, or maybe the school. Uh, yes. I hope I get it right. Now, the ship will be late. Can I play? You didn't know where I was at all. Where's Percy? I found him. 
the problem with working with steamies is that they are much too stinky. And Thomas is the most stinky steamy ever. <laughs> Yuck! If you go that way, you'll be late. I'm back at the dairy, right where I started. Thomas bumped into Bert, and the stinky cheese shot into the air. Now we're really stinky. The most stinky engines ever. Thomas. He, you, you really are the stinkiest steam engine on soda, Thomas. Now you can shunt the stinky cheese. Oh, no. What a stink. I've never taken a very special passenger before, but not very special ones. I'm worried I'll make a mistake. Hello, Toby. Hello, Toby, he tooted. What's happened to you? Slow down. I can't arrive at a picnic on such a dirty train. What would my public say? Don't worry. A good clean is all you need. Don't worry, Toby, cried the workman. We'll soon have you sparkling like new. I've never seen an engine have a bath before. How delightful. Shoo cows, shoo shoo cows. Pa. I must be careful, and you must wait, said Rocky. Wait, Thomas! Wait! Whee! Whoa! Look out, Arthur! Oh, no! I have to keep up with the runaway car! Oh, no! cried Rosie. Bust my boiler. You've broken down, Thomas. You must have done. Something's wrong. Clackety-clong. Clackety-clong. Something's wrong. All aboard! Clackety-clong, clackety-clong. Did you take on enough water at the fitter's yard? Clackety-clong, clackety-clong. Bother! Clackety-clong, clackety-clong. Stop! Bust my boiler. I said you were a broken down little engine. Clackety-clong. Taking the baggage is an easy job. Hello! Now! Please! You're a very reliable engine. Yes, sir. Here I go. I'm coming too. Oh, no. What are we going to do? If a big engine like me is frightened of thunder, the little sheep must be very scared. I wanted to help the sheep. I wanted to help the farmers. And I wanted to help my friends. But I haven't helped any of them. I've let them all down. Did you collect lots of sheep? We didn't see you. I was too scared of the thunder and lightning to go up the hill with you. So I hid and I watched you working. Because of me, there were still sheep on the hill. So now I'm going up to collect them. I didn't think I could do it, but I could. You call this fun? Puffed Duncan. Watch out. Oh no, bust me boiler. Oh no, Duncan moaned. What am I going to do? Phew. The roads really are as much fun as the rails. There is to be a county fair and engine parade, he said. We could help you get clean. The bad is waiting for you. Make sure you clean her wheel arches and wash her windscreen. That's because you helped us before. More loads of straw, he wished. Hello. I have plenty of time. Listen to that boy. You haven't done your own job either, Duncan. I have to take Mr. Percival to a meeting with Sir Topham Hatt. I'll find the very best engines. Don't worry. I'm going to have a wonderful time. We can pull a heavy train. We're very strong. Where's my train? Bust my buffers. Can you work on my special? Please, start straight away. We can pull the heavy lumber train to the transfer yards. We're the strongest. Yes, sir. You are late, James. There's no bell. Ding-a-long, ding-a-ling. Find the bell with the very best ring. Hooray, he chuffed. The cows aren't taking any notice at all. That'll never do for a bicycle bell. Hooray. The children aren't taking any notice at all. They'll never do for a bicycle bell. Hooray, he whistled. There's no bell. Yes, there is, sir. Hey, move it back there, James. And you forward the person. That's a good, that's a good. And a diesel, can you move in? Don't worry, I take another photograph. Tell all the engines to meet me at Tidmouth Sheds. Oh, okay. The steam has made my camera wet. We'll have to wait for it to dry. Tell the engines to come back later to Tidmouth. No one told me there was another photograph. But I asked Thomas to tell everyone. Gordon, you were meant to pick up Mr. Giggles, the famous clown. Emily, you were meant to pick up the brass band. And James, you were meant to pick up the bunting and decorations. None of you arrived. 
So Diesel had to do all your jobs. And now he's late to do his own work. I did not. The photographer told me to move. Perhaps you rolled too far. That's a wonderful idea, Thomas. Good morning. Edward the Steady is at the ready. The track ahead's in need of repair. Oh, flatten my fender. And fizzling fireboxes. It looks magnificent. Hooray! I'm pulling the carnival special. Oh, my. You haven't helped anyone. You've left half the train. Thomas is collecting the famous storyteller, Mary Marvel. She is going to read at a special show. I hope she tells stories about Proteus. I hope I'm the first to see Miss Marvel. You're in a hurry. Yes, I want to be the first engine to see Miss Marvel. I'm going to take a shortcut to the showground. Oh, no! Fizzling fireboxes. Oh, my. Look. Surprise. And I will be the star of the show. Please, can you cover the statue? I'll be back to collect it soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Help! Bubbling boilers. I've spoiled everything for everyone. The statue belongs to us all. Freddy, will you take Proteus to the show? It would be an honor. Now you're ready to go, Peter Sam. Oh, my. Today, one of our engines found something very special. Yes, sir. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I can't get to Brendan if the track is blocked. I'll take your freight cars for you, Thomas. Thank you, Henry. Hey, yes, sir. Hello, Henry. The special woodsman can't get through to the wishing tree. They're the only ones that can help. Without them, the tree will have to be cut down. Oh, dear. The woodsmen are here to save the wishing tree, not cut it down. I have made a very big mistake. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yes, sir. I know why. All the other regions have found something special. Emily found the seals at Blacklock. Henry found the flagpole for the Scottish castle. And Thomas found Great Waterton. If I find something, Sir Topham Hatt will give me a special as well. I have plenty of time before I pick up the workman. I found something special. Oh dear, that's not special. That's a treasure chest. I found something very special. Oh dear, that's not special. Hello, Toby. Why are you looking at old tin cans? Bust my buffers, and I will ring my bell as loudly as I can. Someone at Great Waterton is sure to hear us and come to our rescue. Toby, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, sir. I ran out of call because I wanted to find something special. I thought then you would think I'm as special as the other engines, but only when I'm really useful. I know that now. You'll always be special. He's a firefighter and a hero. He rescued Lady Hat's cat from a tree. A hero? Quick, Doc, move now! He's a hero. I hope Harvey gets here soon. Aye, we can't go anywhere until he moves this tree. We need Harvey. He's a hero? Oh, no! Hey, help, 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 help! No, you didn't. Gordon was bringing a mechanic to fix me. I'm stuck in the mud. Now, I can't take the children to the medal ceremony. And you're our hero, Thomas. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. I took a shortcut, but I got lost. Huh. I never get lost. I know the railway better than any other engine. I need to get cold in water. See you at Great Waterton, Gordon. No, thank you. I'm not lost. Hooray. Are you lost? Would you like some help? Hooray. I must race ahead. I must stop Stanley. What have you done? Please stop. Take the love track. Please stop. You must take the track on the right. Thank you. Stop, Stanley. Stop. I wanted to take a shortcut. I wanted to pick up the very important passengers. Hello, Thomas. Your brakes don't sound good. Shall I take your load for you? Slow down, Thomas. Hooray! I've made it! Here I come with the last special delivery! Fizzling fireboxes, what can I do? Oh, no. That's a very good idea. Hooray! There they are! Good luck, Stanley. Thank you. Shall I pick up the twins now? Hello, Thomas. Be sure to puff slowly and carefully, Duncan. Oh, dear. What shall I do? Hooray! Sir. Oh, dear. It's a very big hole. 
I don't have enough material to fix it. Well, yes, Duncan. That would be perfect. Sir Topham Hatt has asked me to lead the parade at the first Great Waterton Festival. Thomas. Uh, hello, hello. That sounds exciting. Hooray. Come on, Flora. Come on, Flora. Flora, we are late to pick up my load. I'm sorry, Thomas. Thomas, I've been waiting for you. Who's that? I wanted to tell you, Thomas, that I was too scared to lead the parade by myself. But now, Flora and I can lead it together. <laughs> Hold that. Hold that. Not at all, Percy. First of all, I'd like to go to the duck pond. And I'm taking flowers and balloons. I'm going to tell him a man in the hill story. They are his favorites. He was a very tall man, dressed all in white. He lived high in the hills. No one has ever found him. I can help you. I know the hills better than anyone. Yes, Thomas. We can help you find the man in the hills. You said you'd bring the best present of all. Come on now, follow me. It's the man in the hills. Thomas. You found him! Trevor is waiting for you. Some of the tracks ahead are very muddy. If you get stuck in the mud, it's going to take even longer. I'm very sorry, Murdoch. You were right. Please, will you pull me out of the mud? That track is muddy! Howdy, Thomas. Now, you look like one of the finest little engines I've ever seen. Those freight cars are way too heavy for you. Let me take them for you. I'd be happy to help. Hold your huffing there, Thomas. Let big old Hank take those cars for you. Hello, Thomas. Howdy. Good to see you. Hey, Thomas, aren't you going to whistle hello? Howdy, Farmer McCall. That's a mighty fine tractor you have. Say, Thomas, you look all out of puff and pull. I'll take it for you. Come on, Thomas. The train's too heavy for you. Take the pressure off your pistons. Couple me up. We must not be late for your party. Howdy, everybody. Thomas is a little overloaded right now. I'll whistle for him. Shucks, Thomas. I'm so sorry. That's too bad. I'd be happy to help. You give the orders, I'll do the pushing. Thank you, Thomas. And I know something, too. You're the engine everyone cheers for on Soto. That's something to be proud of. I have an important job, too. I'm sure I'll fill my freight cars first. I can beat a steamy any day. I'll race you to the hopper. We have to go backwards. <laughs> Silly slow steamy. I won the race. We still have to race backwards. Now we both won a race. We must have one more. Uh-oh. Come on, let's have one more race. Yeah, sure, Thomas. We still don't know who's the fastest. Let's have another race. <laughs> You're the best biffer I've ever seen. It's starting to snow, James. You should check the weather with the yard manager. There's bad weather all over the island. It's very hard to see the tracks. Then, James, we better go to Henry's tunnel. Track? We need Edward's help. He could couple up to the front of the train. Onwards, onwards. Don't slow down, James. <laughs> James is silly. James is slow. James has got us stuck in the snow. <laughs> the freight cars giggle. I'm a very heavy freight car. We must race down the hill at full speed. Then we will biff the train right through the snow. Okay, James, go! We did it, Hector. Well done. We were worried. This party will be the biggest party ever. Yes, sir. You can rely on us. Yes, sir. There'll be decorations, presents, and a big tree covered in lights. Maybe this year they could have the party at the wharf. It would be a surprise party for Colin, he thought cheerily. I uh, have to go and collect another flatbed. Those must be for the party. It will be a surprise party for Colin. I'll take your flatbed. Will you tell the other engines? All right, Freddy. It's the tree for the party. The party's now at the wharf. I'll take your tree. Will you tell the other engines? Mr. Percival's already gone back to the wharf. Oh, no. I must puff back as quickly as I can. I waited for you, but Mr. Percival told me to finish the job. Now no one will have a party. I must stop the barge. It was a surprise for Colin, sir. Stop! Please turn around and go back to Colin. All right, Freddy. I wanted to have a surprise party for you. For me? The party is now at the wharf. What a wonderful party. Thank you, Freddy. The children will be excited. No one in the hills has ever seen a puppet show. 
Those cars look heavy. No, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. I must win. Look out, Duncan. Stop. But I must get the puppet show to the children. Out of my way. I can't stop. Sorry, Rusty. But I must get the puppet show to the children. Help. I puffed as quickly as I could. <laughs> I thought you might need my help. Reneas, you must take the puppet show to the children. Me? Thank you, Scullery. Don't worry, Duncan. I'll help you. We'll steam to the showground in no time. You're my best friend, Reneas. And there's nothing stronger than friendship. Look at me, Thomas. I'm as shiny as a trumpet. All aboard. Why didn't you tell me, Thomas? I tell you everything. Thank you, Thomas.